Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a first look at the brand new Nokia Lumia 920 and 820. As some of the first Windows Phone 8 devices to be launched, these have a lot going for them, so let's take a look. To start with, let's go over the flagship, the Lumia 920. Now the first thing is that it keeps the same one-piece polycarbonate design, and that's a thumbs up on my book. So of course if you take a look at it, it's going to look fairly similar to the previous generation, however that's not a bad thing at all, as those were some of the best looking phones out there. Plus it's got some new colors, like this yellow, come on, that's got my name written all over it. It's also got a Nokia Pure Motion HD Plus display. Great name, huh? It's not like I just took 20 takes to get that name right or anything, <laughs> of course not. It is a 4.5 inch panel with a resolution of 1280 by 768, which is just like 720p except it's 768p because Nokia is special. Uh, beyond that, it does have a couple of cool features, so you can use it with gloves on, which is not something you can do with a lot of other smartphones. It's also supposedly got higher refresh rates than any other smartphone out there. Internally, you're going to find a 1.5 GHz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor. Now this is pretty much the best of the best right now, and it's really nice to see that Windows Phone is finally going to be expanding from just single core processors. I know that was kind of a little bit of an issue for a while. Beyond that, it's also going to have a 2000 mAh battery, which should give it plenty of battery life for a full day of usage, and it's also got NFC built in. The 920 also features wireless charging, so it looks like it's finally time to retire that Palm Pre of yours. Of course, this is going to be a very simple thing, so basically you just take your 920, you put it on a variety of different surfaces, so for example, Nokia is going to be selling a dock, and there's also this pillow, so you can put your phone on a pillow and it charges wirelessly. One of the more impressive things to me is the PureView camera. Now note this isn't going to be a 42 megapixel behemoth, but it still does have 8.7 megapixels to work with. The real cool thing here is that it does have optical image stabilization. This is a first for smartphones, and what it means is that there are tiny little springs built into the lens of the camera. So let's say that you're taking a picture in low light. Well most cell phone cameras want to go ahead and kick the flash on as there's just not enough light. However the 920 actually cannot use the flash, and because it has those springs to kind of keep your image stable, it can have a longer exposure and get you a better low light picture. This is also great for video, now that the 920 can handle full 1080p HD. So again, those little tiny springs are going to help make your image a little bit clearer, so when you're holding around your cell phone, there's going to be less wobbling, less shaking, and better quality. Moving on to the little brother, we have the Nokia Lumia 820. Like all little brothers, it didn't get all the cool big brother toys, so it's only got a 4.3 inch display with a resolution of 480 by 800. Beyond that though, the 820 does share most of the same specs. So you are going to have a few changes, so for example you will get removable backs with the 820, and that will allow you to get at least slightly smaller battery as well as add a micro SD card. Now unfortunately there are going to be a few things missing like NFC, however you can get that back if you decide to go buy an NFC enabled backplate. So kind of cool little bit of customization, it's always nice to be able to get at a micro SD card and change the battery. Both phones are using the new Windows Phone 8 operating system. Now I won't go too in depth on this, for the most part it's fairly similar to Windows Phone 7. However there are some cool changes, like the home screens are now much more customizable. Probably the biggest thing for me though is it is now based on the new Windows 8 kernel. So what this means is that you can design an app for a Windows 8 desktop, and then you can port it over to a Windows 8 tablet, and then you can port it over to a Windows 8 phone. It's all going to be fairly similar. Unfortunately, Nokia didn't get into specifics as far as release date or price, although I definitely don't expect it to be very long. Windows Phone is expected to launch in the middle of October. Anyway, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think about the new Lumia 920 and 820? Personally, the 820, the lower resolution screen kind of kills it for me, but the 920 has my name written all over it. I can't wait to get my hands on that. But again, definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos on the Nokia Lumia 920, be sure to subscribe.